Let's look at latest MIUI TR21.7.7 beta running on Xiaomi Poco F1. The ROM is a port of MIUI 12.5. So we will be seeing is this ROM is worth trying one or not. So welcome back to ROMs for you and let's begin. To begin with, let's talk about about phone session. The ROM is MIUI TR and it is of course based upon Android 10. The security patch is from 1st 12 2020 which is pretty old. The kernel coupled with E is perf but I did change it before doing gaming test. But all other tests I did was on stock kernel. Moving forward, the ROM has fingerprint IR face unlock. The IR face unlock works good but the fingerprint is going to be a pain. Each time I was trying to unlock the phone, it was getting black screen. Many times I ended up rebooting the phone. The phone is encrypted out of the box. Everything else is almost like MIUI 12.5, but there is no presence of voice changer and screen recorder won't allow you to record internal audio and microphone at a time. Moving forward, the ROM got MIUI cam with all features working, very solid. The reason menu includes floating window and it works well. Out of the box, the ROM does not pass a safety net checks. The ROM is not rooted, also the ROM does not pass a Google Play protection. Now let's talk about benchmarks. With stock kernel, the under 2 was scoring 3,66,000 plus and Geekbench was scoring for single core 355 and multi core 1253 which are pretty lame score for Poco F1. To understand more, I'll add some footage of CPU throttling test. You can understand how this ROM downclocks your Poco. The average GIPS value and graph performance were ended up with tragedy for sure. Also I was getting multiple time UI lags which made me to change kernel. After changing the kernel to NGK, I was getting some noticeable change in performance. But the fingerprint bug and auto brightness bug remains the same. I was able to game in this ROM with NGK. As you see, FPS is not fluctuating that much. But no safety net, no Google Play protection, brightness bugs, fingerprint bugs, all this makes this ROM's reusability a nightmare. So, as per my opinion, I won't suggest this room for anyone. We'll keep an eye on their stable build. So, that's it guys. Hope this video was helpful to you. Like and shares are always appreciated. Subscribe if you like my work. Till next time, be safe and take care.